Hey, it's Johara. Welcome back to my channel, to TV Fanatic. So, I'm going to be doing Monster High Ship tier list, so this should be fun. Um, we're going to be talking about the ships in Monster High canon and non canon. Um, some of them I don't, um, some of them I might not know were ships to begin with, but, um, that people shipped, but this should be fun. <laughs> um, only issue is that I do not see Operator and Johnny on here, and I did kind of like them. Uh, maybe it's because we don't get to see that much of them. I don't know, maybe they were just forgotten. I feel like they are the forgotten ship. So after I say what the columns are, I'm just going to tell you where I would place Operator and Johnny. So the columns are OTP, low-key ship, I love them, I like them, meh, low-key girls, and ew. So, um, I would put... Operator and Johnny under, huh, under I love them, because they were cute, I like them, from what we got to see of them, okay, so, let's get started, first is Dracula and Abby, I did not know that was a ship, um, oh, there's one column I wanted to put that I forgot about, so I'm going to do that real quick, so under I, I like them, I'm going to put, um, uh platonic because there's a few of these i saw that uh i love at platonically but not romantically so platonically okay now we can start dracula and abby go in platonically because i like their friendship do i like them as a couple no i never even considered them as a couple abby and he now i ship them a lot i'm putting them under i love them now caddy and pharaoh I love them. I'm going to put them under OTP. I think they're one of my favorites. Uh, Claude and Deuce, platonic. Never thought of them as anything but platonic. Um, Deuce and Cleo, I love them. I do love them. I feel like they are a lot of people's favorites, but they're not mine. But they can't, but I do love them, so they have to be under I love them, obviously. Um, Cleo and Torali. Um... Hmm. Loki gross. <laughs> because no. For so many reasons. I mean, they do have the whole enemies to lovers if they did become something more, but no. I just, I never saw anything in them that would ever transform into something more. Cleo and Gulia. Now this, I never really considered them a ship until I was watching um, this one YouTuber I watched, watched Monster High for the first time, kind of recently-ish. I think it was sometime last year, actually. But she did a couple Monster High related videos on her channel. She did one where she ranked all the Monster High movies since she just watched them. And then she decided to do one where she ranked some of her favorite ships. And she put Cleo and Gulia. And I never really thought of them as a ship until she explained why she liked them. Um, but I kind of agree. I mean, I love their friendship, don't get me wrong. I don't think I would want them to become a couple, but I do see why they have this appeal about them. But I'm going to put them under platonically because they are one of my favorite friendships. Claudia and Dracula are platonically because I think I mentioned this in my, yeah, I did mention it in my, um, where I was tier ranking the my headcanons of uh, Monster High character sexualities. And I do love their friendship. They have my favorite friendship. Cleo and Gulia is probably second, a close second, but Claudine and Direct Laura is my favorite friendship. And I do not see them as anything more. I do not want them to be anything more. I just love their platonic friendship. No, Direct Laura and Claude is my favorite couple for those of you that did not know. So they go under OTP. Um, Draglore and Gory, ew, like, does anyone actually ship them? I mean, ew, like, is that a ship? Please tell me that's not actually something that people ship, because Gory is just awful, and she bullied Draculaura really bad, like, please, I mean, enemies to lovers and haters to lovers is one thing, but this is something else that I do not approve of. Draculaura and Kiyomi, which I also mentioned in my headcanon, uh, Monster High character sexuality video that I 
low-key ship though. I mean, don't get me wrong, Jake Lauren Claude it, it is my favorite ship. But if Claude was not in the picture, if Claude did not exist, I would so ship her with Kiyomi. So I'm putting them under low-key ship. I legit put that low-key ship column there just for them. <laughs> okay. Um, Dracula and Valentine? That's as bad as... Actually, that's worse than Dracula and Gory. Uh, no, you. I mean, technically they were canon because they did date, even though it was a short time, but you. I mean, that has to be the worst ship in the entire franchise. I mean, Valentine abused her, in my mind. She abused her. I mean, he played with her mind. He, he just, no. No, ew, no. If anyone actually ships them, then ew, no. Okay, Frankie and Andy, I never actually shipped them. Um, I've never been a huge Frankie fan though, and she has so many love interests. Like, all the net, like, like five in a row right here are all Frankie. Um, no. Uh, but there's one of them that I did like her with. Um, but Frankie and Andy, I mean... I'm gonna put them out under meh, cause it's not like I hated them or anything, or I thought they were gross, but they were just meh. They didn't. Okay, so Frankie and Heath, I did not like them together, so I'm gonna put low-key gross. Frankie and Jackson, low-key gross. Frankie and Nathan, that's the one that I kinda liked her with. I'm gonna put them under I like them, cause I still don't love them. Frankie and Hoodoo, I'm putting under, um, ew, because no. Cause Hoodoo became kind of obsessed with Frankie, and no. Uh, Gory and Bram, uh, Loki Gross. I mean, they're, oh, they want to be together, fine, but they're awful people. <laughs> um, Heath and Manny, I didn't know that was a ship. Is that actually a ship, people? Uh, I'm gonna put them under platonically, because they do have the whole, uh, bro friendship going that Claude and Deuce have, but no, no romance there. Frankie and Laguna, I didn't know that was a ship either. I'm gonna put it under Loki Gross. No, I'm gonna put it under platonically. I just... No. Laguna and Gail, I love them. I'm putting them under I love them. <laughs> uh, Claudia and Rebecca, I didn't know that was a ship either. Actually, Rebecca was Psy, but he isn't in the movie, sadly. He is in the uh, Monster High Ghoul Friends Forever book series, and I ship them a lot. And I love Psy as a character, and I really wish he was actually in the movies, but he's not. Uh, Rebecca and uh, Claudia, <sighs> we're gonna put under platonically. I mean, I don't know. I never... I don't even think they were really that close friends. You don't really have many scenes with them, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna put them under Matt actually. Mm. Rochelle, Rochelle and Goyle. I'm gonna put them under I love them because they were really cute. The little we got to see of them, they were really cute. Spectra and Porter. I'm putting under OTP because they are also one of my favorite ships. I absolutely love them. They're just so cute together. Um. Apparently I'm getting tired. It is, you know, one minute till midnight. But I slept like all day yesterday, so. Okay, Torlai and, um, what's his name? That mean behead gargoyle dude from Friday, Friday Night Frights. I don't remember his name now. But the two of them. Um, I'm going to do, uh, meh, because I kind of just mad they can go i mean they kind of work together just because actually i'm gonna put them under low-key gross i mean my friend robin um under the book wormhole says she had canon that tore lies a lesbian that's why she is the way she is which i can kind of get <laughs> um i mean it's no excuse to be me but I guess I kind of would understand it more if she was hiding something like that. It's kind of like Santana on the show Glee. She was kind of awful because she was hiding the fact that she was a lesbian. And she was terrified for people to find out. And, yeah, so. Uh, Gigi and Wisp, uh, you, because, I don't know, they always seem like sisters. I mean, yeah, they had sort of hated each other, but they became like sisters. And... I think of them as shadow sisters and you. Um, Twyla and Howleen. Now, they're probably the only non canon one that's going to be under my OTP because I ship them a lot. Like, so much, 
so much. I just, I shipped them. They're one of my ships, and I ship, and they should have been canon, because they obviously had some connection, like, more than friendship. But, yeah. Um, so that is my list. Um, I'm gonna read it off. <sighs> Okay. OTP, Caddy and Pharaoh, Jekylor and Claude, Spectre and Porter, um, Twyla and Halloween, Loki Ship, Jekylor and Kiyomi, I love them, Abby and Heath, Cleo and Deuce, Laguna and Gil, uh, Rochelle and uh, Garrot, I like them, Frankie and Nathan, Platonically, Abby and Jekylor, Claude and Deuce, Cleo and Gulia, Jekylor and Claudine, Heath and Manny, Frankie and Laguna, Meh, Frankie and Andy, Rebecca and Claudine, Loki Gross, Torlai and Cleo, Frankie and Heath, Frankie and, uh, no, that's Holt. I said Heath earlier, didn't I? That's Holt. Okay, Frankie and Holt, Frankie and Jackson, um, Gory and Bram, Torlai and that one gargoyle dude, Ew, uh, Draculaura and, uh, Gory, Draculaura and Valentine, Frankie and Hoodoo, Gigi and Wisp. And that is is my list people please like and subscribe and comment uh your opinions if you disagree with a few of those and we will shout we shall talk about it in the comments below and i'll talk to you guys later